Well, hello everyone. Welcome to today's video on this wonderful and amazing opportunity of finding the sums of multi-digit numbers using a base 10 model. So let's knock a few things out of the way first. Big vocabulary word, sums or sum, right? I'm going to use this word time and time again. And sum, the sum, when we're talking about the sum, for example, sum says, well, what's the sum of five and three? Sums refer to the answer to a addition problem. So the sum of eight and, or five and three is eight, right? So that's a sum. It's the answer to an addition problem. So that's what we're going to be looking at today is we're going to be talking about how to add multi-digit numbers, aka find the sums of them. Now, when we talk about that idea of multi-digit, that goes back to the idea of place value. So again, if we think about a digit, a digit is a single numeral, right? Like maybe I might have something like nine, and that's a single numeral, and maybe I'll have a digit three, that's a single numeral. But when they come together, they make a multi-digit number like 93. So multi meaning more than one digits put together to make a larger number. Uh, for example, a four digit number would be a number with four place values in it and would have four different digits of my liking right now. So uh, 7,493, that would be a multi-digit number. In fact, more specifically, it would be a four-digit number. Okay, so that's what we're thinking about today. We're going to walk through taking these multi-digit numbers and adding to find the sums through a relationship of creating a base 10 model for the first number. We're going to add a base 10 model for the second number, and then we're going to count and write our answer. And of course, this will be modeled. We'll get a chance to practice these, and then we will move along. So Let's go ahead and dive into it. Let's take our very first multi-digit number. I'm gonna take 542,321. And we are going to add to this number, right? Because we're finding a sum. So we are going to add to this number. We are going to add uh, 36,000. 522. I don't know. I'm just making things up. Okay. So here's our first problem, multi-digit. Here we go. Let's play the game. If you remember step one, we're going to create a base 10 model of our first number. So what that means by base 10 modeling is that I'm literally going to create that place value chart and I'm going to label all the place values I have. Now look, I got one, two, three, four, five, six place values. So my chart's gonna be pretty big. So let's see if I can hopefully pull this off. One, two, three, four, five, six, something along there, hopefully, right? And we're gonna have the ones place. We're gonna have the tens place, I see. I see we need a hundreds. And I'm labeling, that is very important. Uh, thousands. And then ten thousands and then hundred thousands. And I'm abbreviating thou, oh boy, thousands. Okay, so from there, we just model. And here's the thing, we have some place value models or base 10 models that we use, but also again with math representation, right? Don't make it so crazy. Like we do show ones as like little cubes, but I can also just call it a zero or I mean a dot. And what I'm doing here is there is one in my ones place, so I'm modeling the one. In the tens place, there's a two, so there's two tens, so I'm gonna do like two long lines, right? Like those sticks for tens. I have three hundreds, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, just do little, those are supposed to be squares, they come with like top hats, don't they? Um, a thousand, for me, I model thousands different, like usually those are those three dimensional cubes, and I'm not gonna sit here and do that, I'm just gonna do some circles. Right, and then maybe for my uh, ten thousands place, I see I have four of them. Maybe I'll call those triangles. Right, notice I'm just using some shapes to help me think about what I have here. 
And then I need five of these. I'm gonna do that with, um, uh, what haven't we done? I'm gonna do that with some X's. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? So now I've like really modeled out what this number looks like. 542,321, I put it into a model. What I'm gonna do now with that second step, if you remember, is we're gonna add the second number. So I'm gonna add on to this, and for me, I'm gonna change colors because it's easier that way. One suggestion I might make as a student if you're using like paper and pencil is I draw a little line to separate that this is the first number and now I'm gonna model the second number. So I have two ones, one, two, I have two tens again, I have five hundreds, one, two, three, four, five. I have six thousands, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have three ten thousands, so one, two, three. Okay, so here are my two numbers that have just been modeled out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and move into the last step that says, I'm just gonna count right my answer. This is the best part, check this out. I go to the ones place, I just count what I have. And always start with your ones place, always, okay? Do not go anywhere else, always start with your ones. There's main reason for that later as we get into things. But I'm just gonna go along and I'm gonna count. There's one, two, three, right? I counted them all, one, two, three. Cool, so I'll write a three here. Count these, one, two, three, four. So I'll write a four here, right? I'm just like adding up the total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, another eight, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I didn't have any others, so I'll just count what I have here. It's one, one, two, three, four, five. And I actually have literally found my answer now. When I take 542,321 and I add 36,522, I get boy where am i going to squeeze this number it's all down here like you see it here I'm just running out of space to put it we'll squeeze it i'll make it work all right part of being a scholar I'll make it work we get is a sum we're going to get let's see let's see a five a six an eight an eight and a four one, two, three, knowing those periods of the comma. So if I count that, we get 568,843. So this is the really cool part about being able to do such a skill as this, is that I can just model them out and I can make my own models and then I can just go turn around and count what I have. So let's just try another one. Maybe we won't do one so large for the sake of time. Uh, 54,831. And let's go ahead and add to that um, 25,104, okay? So again, think about that process. Step one, I'm going to build that place value chart. And I got one, two, three, four, five place values. So. One, two, three, four, five, cool. So now I'm gonna label, right? So I have my ones place, I have my tens place, I have my hundreds place, I have my thousands place, starting a new period, right? And then we have the ten thousands. Okay, so that's built, let's start to model. So I have a one in the ones place, so there's one. I have a three in the tens place. One, two, three. I have an eight in the hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I have a four in the thousands. What I, oh, so let's do circles, big circles. One, two, three, four. And I have five ten thousands. So I'm gonna put in five. Okay, now. Again, like I said, you could draw a line. I like to change colors because I have that, that ability, but you could definitely draw a line or not. Like you could just add them into the same thing, right? And let's go ahead and take the second number and do the same thing. So there's four of them. So one, two, three, four ones. Zero tens, so I'm not gonna put anything in my tens place. 100, so there's one. Five thousands, one, two, three, four, five. 
and two more ten thousandths. Okay, now we count what we have and we're gonna have our sum, like we're gonna have our answer. So one, two, three, four, five ones, one, two, three tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten thousands. So funky looking number as it rolls along here, but if I just rewrite it as I see, it goes seven, nine, nine, three, five. So when I take 54,831 and I add 25,104, I get 79,935. Cool. So again, let's just do this real quick. I'm gonna do another example super fast. So let's just think about that as we go. Um, this time I'll just start with the thousands. So uh, that is, 1,007, fix that. So 8,107, and let's go ahead and add 21,252. Um, okay, so again, model, right? Then add on and so on. So let's do that. I'm gonna start. I notice here's one thing to keep in mind. Here there's four place values, over here there's five. So when I make my model, I pretty much want to make sure I definitely have five place values. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. See how I'm using abbreviations now? It's a good way to kind of get there. So let's model our first one. So there's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No tens, one hundred and eight thousands. Okay, next number, and again, let me change some colors. We have two of the, the ones, we have five of the tens, we have two hundreds, we have a thousand, and then we have two ten thousands. Okay, count, and I'm gonna have an answer. This is great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Uh, three, six, nine. Notice how the way I organized them to make it easier to count. Yes, yes, there was intentionality behind that. And there's my sum, 8,107 plus 21,252 gets me 29,359. So there you have it. This is adding numbers and finding sums of multi-digit numbers using a base 10 model. I hope you enjoyed because as always, I had a ball and thank you for being here.